something of a surprise as the competition leading Yankees were eliminated by the Russian Bears. The Bears then faced the Saxons who were looking to put an end to their inconsistency that has plagued them throughout the entire competition. And the Saxons found a modicum of form to beat the Bears and put their place in the semi-finals. So too did the Vikings who comfortably beat the Celts, the smallest team in the competition. So this first semi-final pitched the Bravehearts against the Vikings. The Bravehearts duo of Luke Stoltman and Stephen Cherry from Scotland, currently fourth after four completed events. They trail the Vikings, who are currently in second, by five and a half points. And the sheer bulk of the Vikings is making short work of this. Driven out in a straight line beyond the confines of the centre circle with Stephen Cherry. And that's a comfortable victory for the Vikings, who book their place in the final. This second semi-final sees the Pirates squaring off against the Saxons and the Pirates have been a little bit anonymous in this competition to date. They finished in 7th, 4th, 6th and 7th. So this, a final four finish guaranteed, is really good going for them. But they want to go one better and make it through to the final. And it's a deadlock so far. The Pirates, anchored by the tallest, heaviest athletes in the competition. The Giant, 6 foot 11, 29 stone. Sean O'Hagan, but he's been pushed close to the perimeter, perilously so from his point of view, dancing around the inside of the rope, but there the foot goes out, and it's a victory for the Saxons. Eddie Hall celebrates among his hometown supporters, and we've seen that gesture in strongman competitions in the past. The Saxons are through to the final. So this third place playoff is being contested between the Pirates and the Bravehearts. The Pirates looking to secure their best finish to date in this year's competition. All four athletes taking the strain, the legendary Terry Holland with a shrill blast of the whistle to get this competition underway. And the Bravehearts dancing around the perimeter but are driven backwards and ultimately down into the turf by the Pirates. And that victory gives them a third place finish, the best showing in this year's tournament for Frampton and O'Hagan. What a final this promises to be. The Saxons squaring off against the Vikings. This is second taking on third after four completed events. The Saxons in third position with 22 points. The Vikings one place ahead of them with 25 points. Which set of qualities will prevail? Will it be the dynamism and athleticism of Hall and Felix? Or the sheer bulk that Bjornsson provides at the rear? the Vikings tandem. Terry Holland gets the event underway and there's nothing in it. Complete inertia to begin this event but now it's Hall who is being driven backwards. He's struggling to get a foothold in the turf and finally driven beyond the boundary of the center circle. Celebrations abound among the Vikings. They have secured themselves another victory. If you enjoyed this video like and subscribe below and let's see some great comments of what you'd like to say. And if you want to go to an Ultimate Strongman show, get your tickets, ultimatestrongman.tv, and we'll see you there.